Hello friends, welcome back to the vlog channel. It is my anniversary. I have been married for six years. What? I've been with my husband for nine years. It's wild, it's a wild, it's wild out here. Um, but I wanted to show you my little date night outfit. Hold on one second. So I'm gonna be honest, I had a cute, cute little floral romp I wanted to wear and then I'm really bloated. I just, you guys know how like I've been eating like garbage this week, so I'm super bloated. You guys know how when you wear a romper, it pulls, it like already pulls right here, real funny. Well, it was not, it was giving pregnant and I am not pregnant. So I was just like, nah, let's not do it. So this is what I'm wearing. It is a really cute Amazon dress. Kind of has a little bit of a um, length difference right here in the front, if you guys can see it. And it's slightly longer in the back. Then I have on these adorable sandals. I'll have everything linked below. Um, they are, I think from Amazon, but I have a couple pairs from this brand and I just love how they're simple and nude. I think you can get different colors on the website, like based on your skin tone, if you want them to be super nude or even a little bit lighter um, or darker, but they're just always the most like simple, easy sandals. And so I love them. We have got, these are some of my favorite, they're Dior earrings and um, no necklaces just cause I just didn't feel like it. So <laughs> this is the fit. Oh, and Amazon sunglasses. They're little tortoise ones. Uh, but we are going to, we're getting the boys ready now because we're going to Miyoko's in Spartanburg, which is one of my favorite sushi places. Um, Sam and I went to college in Spartanburg, so we love it there. Um, and two of our friends are coming over to watch the boys. So I'm gonna finish, I'm out of breath a little bit actually from trying to get them bathed, but I'm gonna finish um, getting the house ready for our friends and then I'll catch up with y'all when we're actually. <laughs> We have, we do. Thank you. Um, what is this? I don't, I don't know which one. Hi. <laughs> so this is the chaos from cleaning. No, it's not from cleaning. This is the chaos I need to clean from filming. Um, I wanted to show y'all though. So I, this shirt is out of stock completely. I don't know why American Eagle I feel like when they have something that's really, really good, it goes out of stock and then it takes forever for it to come back in. Um, they have a couple different variations of this shirt, but this particular one's out. But these shorts just came in like five seconds ago and I wanted to show them to you before I take them off and wash them, but they are from Amazon. They're a look for less from that famous brand. I know people say the brand names all the time that the look for less is like supposed to be for, but you're not actually supposed to do that and you can get in trouble for doing that. So I'm not gonna do it, um, but they're really flattering, like the cut on them and they're flowy and they have built-in underwear. I got a few colors, but these were the first ones to show up. And they, I mean, just came out of the packaging, which is why they're super wrinkly, but how cute. I got my shirt size medium. I love this brand, right? We love this brand. We love this brand. Kitty patootie. Oh my gosh. I need to clean up my mess, Romain. He is walking all over the place. It is wild. Um, like even now he's just standing. Like he's just vibing. Yeah, vibing. Um, not even 10 months old yet. So tomorrow we are having people come and so we kind of get to decide what we want to do. They came and did our construction clean outside and it's basically a, a exterior cleaning crew, wash crew, I don't quite know. But you know, with construction, especially in the South, there's a lot of red mud or in the Southeast, I don't know exactly, but there's a lot of red mud. So we had them come last year, like literally the week before we moved in and they cleaned our entire house, um, the windows, everything. And it was so, so nice. Oh my gosh, he's just like carrying a whole ass sofa thing, like it's nothing, but, um, we had them clean the windows, the entire driveway, um, back porch, front porch, like everything. I don't know if I want them to do that tomorrow. I'm really focused on the porch. You can kind of see, like it is just very gross out here. And um, you probably, it's not gonna come off my camera, but there's a lot of like just pollen mess. Hi. I know. So 
Oh, yeah, that's right. You can't come out here with it. Okay, hold on. There's just, it's a lot of grossness. So that's Hercules there. Literally in his pajamas, just casually moving furniture. We also have, need to have this repainted because we put Doug out here when the cleaning ladies come and he has absolutely destroyed the store. And I can't even talk about it. It makes me so frustrated. Like completely destroyed that door. Um, so we're having him come tomorrow and that's what Sam and I were trying to discuss today. I was like, what do we want him to have him do? Do we want to have him do the whole house again? Do we want to have him do the porches? Um, so Sam's moving the furniture now because we know the porches are an absolute necessity no matter what. And then, I don't know, but I gotta clean up. Ezra's asleep. Um, and then tonight we're doing burgers. I'm gonna do a turkey burger. And then um, they're doing like regular just beef burgers. So because I like the turkey burgers better, I think they're, they just taste better. So anyways, look at this cutie patootie. Hi, you are so cute with your little tea fires. You wanna show them your top teeth? Can you guys, you can't see. This okay. Never mind. He has two top teeth and they look huge in his mouth, and I have to remind myself okay, what Ezra's teeth looked like at that age. Like Ezra's teeth looked just as big and now they look normal. So I don't know if it's because they're by themselves or what, but hi. 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 You wanna walk without holding on to anything? You gonna keep walking holding on to stuff. You're so pretty. Yeah, you're so pretty. <sighs> Hi. Yeah. Um, I'm watching our cameras right now, so I'm gonna keep looking down because we have uh, our cleaners coming. And I don't know if Doug's gonna be able to handle it, but they're coming to do the exterior of the house and I have to go out and talk to them about what we want. Um, we're using, I think it's called Sparkle City cleaners. I'll put them in the description bar and comment section. If you're in like the Greenville Smart Burg area, they're so good. They wash the exterior of your house. They can do concrete like outside. They're amazing. Um, but I wanted to tell you guys, I talked about it a little bit today and <laughs> I'm hesitant to talk about it, but at the same time I needed advice. So back before Sam and I, um, decided to build, I'm talking like we didn't even, we weren't even trying to have a baby. It might've been like the year we got married, maybe the year after I was like, we found our perfect house plan. We're so excited. We're going to build in the future. And I was like, so stoked to talk about it. And then, um, a lot of people kept going, how's your home build coming? like what's the update on your house how how is your home bill going and i was like guys that was like a four or five year plan and i said it in the vlog that it was like four or five years in the future um so <laughs> i'm hesitant to say it but i got some recommendations on instagram and i know i have different audiences so i wanted to ask you guys here if y'all had any recommendations as well i don't know if it's going to be later this year or three years from now this is not a right now project. I am not researching it for summer 2024. However, Sam and I really want to get a pool. It is something that I started talking about when we moved into this home. They are big, 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 big projects that are very expensive. And there's of course a lot of things that go into it, but we really want one and we want an in-ground pool. A lot of people on Instagram were saying, um, have salt water is better or like they wish they had salt water or they know someone who has salt water. A lot of people are saying splurge and get the heater. They were like, it's so worth it. Wish I would have had the heater. The heater's worth it. Like you don't, and literally at the beach, they had a heater in our pool and they, it like ran all night. And then in the morning time it would cut off. And so the water was really warm during the day, but sure enough, by the evening time it would start to get colder again. So, I mean, literally that was at the beach. So a lot of people said that. Um, and the number one thing I'm seeing is either concrete with a liner or a fiberglass. We're thinking fiberglass, but again, I wanted to know if you guys have in-ground pools, likes, dislikes, things you wish you would have done differently, things you um, are so happy you did. We are thinking because of where we want it. I'll have to show y'all. That tree would have to go. That's literally the only shade in our yard. There's not one ounce of shade except for like this tree back here. And it's very, very tiny. So that would have to go. We want the pool right here, but we think we want a, not like a pool house, but I feel like also saying a gazebo isn't like, let me see what, let me show you what I took a screenshot of. A gazebo isn't like exactly what I'm thinking. 
So something like this that's like more built in. The reason I'm researching this is because again, one, it is a huge project. So I don't, I don't know, but that's why I'm researching to such an extent because I want to know how much I need to budget for. Is this gonna happen next summer? Is this gonna happen three years, five years? Um, and then also just like what I'm getting myself into. So if you have any recommendations, please leave them in the comment section below. Um, at the pool this past week at the beach, they had, I think it's pronounced gunite. It tore mine and my sister-in-law's feet up because we were in the water and we were in the water for hours so our feet would get really soft. And it was like almost like textured, it wasn't smooth. It tore our feet to pieces. My feet hurt all week. My sister-in-law literally had a hole in her toe from where it was just torn up from us. Just like, you know, you kind of like bop around in the pool. Like you kind of just bounce. Um, just constantly doing that for hours after having been in the pool, our feet were torn up. I don't want that long-term. It's, I think it's like, I think I've heard they're like six to eight month waiting lists. And once it starts, it's a very, not like a couple day process. Like it's a, it's a long process. So. Anyways, I'm excited about the idea and potentially getting it and just like having a place where our kids can play and have parties and even like um, like their friends can come over, like our friends who have kids, like just to have people over. Like we love hosting, we love having people over and it would just be so nice to have that during the summertime. So anyways, let me know your thoughts and I'm going to get started on the rest of my work for the day. I've gotten a decent amount done, but um, I gotta wait for these guys to show up, start, of course, washing everything, and then, um, hopefully Ezra is not woken up by the dog barking, so we'll see.